All right, 10D. Okay, now this is kind of a, a more beefy one because we've got three different factors here, but everything needs to be factored. And I'm still just gonna push all the factors together in the numerator and all the factors together in the denominator. So, I mean, you could make this as long as you want. It doesn't change anything. This first one, I'm looking for factors of eight that add to negative six. So it's gonna be x minus four, x minus two. Uh, in the second term, this numerator, the common factor there is x, and I'm left with x minus one. In this last one here, between 12x squared and 42, uh, there's a common factor of six, and that's gonna leave me with two x squared plus seven. Now that's kind of an interesting one. We haven't really seen that yet. Now this is not a trinomial, so there's, you can't do any trinomial factoring here. But it's interesting to get a quadratic, okay? And that can't be reduced any further. It's not a difference of squares. It's a sum. Uh, and there's nothing else common to those. So that's kind of a neat result there. All over, and then we do the same thing in the denominator. I notice in the, in the first factor here, there's a common factor of 2x. So we pull that out, and that's going to leave us with x minus 4. Uh, and this next one, there's a common factor of uh, 4. And that is going to leave us with a 2x squared plus 7. Now notice, again, the quadratic factor is shared, numerator to denominator. Okay. And then finally, at the end here, I've got a 2x. Can't really do anything with a 2x. We're done. Now, I'm going to start to, to remove things by, by getting uh, factors here to divide out to be 1. Okay. So, but... Again, we're going to have to state what x can't be while we do this. So x minus 4 will divide by x minus 4 as long as x isn't equal to 4. Uh, x minus 2 has no partner. Um, now, now, watch this. I want you to be really, really careful with this. There is a factor of x here, and it's going to cancel with one of the two factors of x in the denominator. Notice that the 2x does not cancel with the 2x here. It does not. Okay, because they're both in the denominator. They multiply together, they're not divided by each other. But that x right there is perhaps divided by that x so long as we don't let x go to zero. Uh, x minus one doesn't have a partner here, but two x squared plus seven does, okay? Now that's an interesting one because I'm gonna let those, I'm gonna let those cancel out here, but watch this. Two x squared plus seven, if, if we try to find out what the restriction is on this one, it's kind of a neat one, if you bring that over, you'll get x squared cannot equal, bring the seven over, negative seven, divide by two over two. Your next step would be to square root. But at this point in time, we're not allowed to take the square root of a negative. So that quadratic factor there actually isn't producing any restriction. So I don't need to say anything uh, with respect to that. Now that I've got all the, the uh, f uh, factors here, the binomial factors dealt with and the, and the variable factors. Now I'm going to look at the numbers here. I've got a 6 in the numerator. Uh, that's going to, the common factor of 2 will cancel with that 2 here. And so I'm really just left with a 3, an x minus 2, an x minus 1 in the numerator. All over that 2 is gone. I've got a 4 and a 2x there, so it's going to be 4, 8x. Okay. Uh, there's really nothing that'll simplify there. There's no two things that I can combine to get a one in terms of division or that are kind of subtracting here. So that, that's good. Uh, and notice I would normally state that x can't equal zero, but I've already done that because that was part of a, a previous restriction.